Thank you. Tonight, I'm going to talk about religion. <laughs> and I hope I don't offend anybody when I say that religious people are the most easily offended people in the world. <laughs> the world, for the sake of argument, has six major religions, okay? Judaism, Islam, Hinduism, Buddhism, Christianity, and Facebook. <laughs> Most of them follow deities or uh, prophets who became deities. One of them follows a young Jewish boy who started with 12 followers and now has almost a billion. <laughs> and then there's uh, Christianity, which follows Christ. <laughs> Now, in order to keep the faithful in line, each religion set up rules, lines you must not cross. Muslims must pray five times a day facing Mecca. Catholics must pray before they go to sleep and occasionally if they really need something like a new bike or a bingo. <laughs> I'm Catholic, so I can get away with that one. Uh, some of the religions have taboos, like uh, jokes. You can tell Buddhist jokes. Buddha is at the ball game and he goes up to the hot dog vendor and says, uh, make me one with everything. <laughs> but you can't really tell jokes about Islam. Islam is so strict that if you make fun of their prophet, uh, the big guy, they declare a fatwa on you. I don't even want to say the prophet's name. Let's call him uh, Voldemort. <laughs> I, I don't even have any idea what an Islamic joke would sound like. <laughs> Two Muslims walk into a bar. And they stand there, you know, watching the infidels defile themselves with alcohol. And, <laughs> and a woman comes up to them and says, hey, does my ass look fatwa in these pants? Ah, oh God, ah. That's a burka slapper. All right, let's move on. <laughs> Many religious holidays involve fasting because every one of the major religious deities, with the exception of the Facebook guy, <laughs> went out at one time and fasted for a, a month or 40 days or, you know, seeking enlightenment, and they all discovered the same thing. <laughs> Hunger! <laughs> Muslims must refrain from eating or drinking anything until sundown every day for a month during Ramadan. Buddhism uh, recommends you be a vegetarian, but it's not mandatory. You know, as I was researching this topic, I really got to like Buddhism. You know, almost all of their rules end with, ah, but shit, do whatever you think is right. <laughs> Man, I love that. <laughs> Uh, Jews, Jews can't eat meat with dairy, which is a shame because they will never know the joy of the pork milkshake. <laughs> and God said, don't eat from the tree of knowledge, and millions of people have embraced that philosophy. <laughs> well, okay, okay, mostly Americans, but still. <laughs> the tree of knowledge was the first line in Christianity. God told Adam and Eve, don't eat from this tree. Supposedly an apple tree, but who knows? I mean, could have been a banana tree, and God didn't want Eve to notice that the banana was bigger than Adam was. You know, it could have... <laughs> it's an allegory, for Voldemort's sake. <laughs> I mean, it could have been any tree. It could have been any plant. It could have been marijuana. And God said, do not eat the marijuana, and neither shalt thou remove the stalks, dry them, strain them, roll them into fatties and set fire unto them, or thou wilt surely die laughing. <laughs> ah, so don't eat from the tree was the first line. And they crossed it immediately. First chapter, right after he told them not to. When you look at religious lines, it's almost as if they're put there to be crossed. I mean, for every one you leaped over, your parents were there with a new line. Don't swear. Okay, okay, okay. D don't swear in public. Uh, shit. Don't swear out loud. <laughs> hey, 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 don't touch yourself. Okay, don't touch yourself in front of grandma. All right? 
don't, 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 don't have sex. Okay, don't have sex until you're married. Okay, don't get pregnant. Okay, don't have an abortion. Okay, don't tell your mom I gave you the money for the abortion. See you in hell, first lap dance is on me. Thanks, guys.